Hi, good morning. Dr. Rissa here, Georgia's Chiropractic, and we're doing our live Cairo talk. So the other day, my assistant handed me these statistics, and because she really knew that I was going to be upset by that, and I was. These are, this is the statistics of the children that are taking psychiatric drugs in the United States. Let me just say first, I am not anti-medicine. We need to have medicines in first aid, emergency situations, absolutely. They save lives, hands down. But I really wonder, when you look at the numbers, seven million children, adolescents, from zero to 17 are taking psychiatric drugs. That to me is terrifying. I wonder how many of these children are really in a crisis mode. You know, everybody knows what they need to do to live a healthier lifestyle. They need to eat better, eat nourishing foods, not junk. Get out and get some exercise. Uh, drink plenty of water, get plenty of sleep. Less time in front of the TV, less time in front of the computer. Okay, we all know that, but how many people are really doing it? How many people are really making better choices for themselves and for their children? You know, it's, it takes discipline. Every single day we have choices. And I would love these children to see these numbers go down as the future goes on, not up, and that's what the trend has been. Okay? People don't understand how chiropractic falls into that. Yes, we're good at pain, We've been really good at that, but that's only a very, very small thing about what we do. As vitalistic chiropractors, what we are concerned about is the nerve system, because that is a system that is allowing our bodies to function and to heal the way it's intended to. If your child is in one of these statistics, or if you as an adult are taking psychiatric drugs, or if you know somebody is, please suggest to them that they see a vitalistic chiropractor, check their nerve system to see why their bodies aren't functioning the way they're intended to. I would like to think that my purpose is to contribute to a healthier community. That's what I have to say in today's live Cairo talk, and I hope you can use this information. Thanks so much for listening.